joke for with a snappy surprise. Build your own groovy looking gears. Turn lame leftovers into a dessert to die for. And find out who put the sound in seashells. I think I can hear the ocean in this seashell. I think I can hear it telling us to get on with the show. Jade is ready to start things off in top gear. Can't wait till I can drive. It'll be a manual for sure. Love the way gears change. Second, into third, and now into top gear. Cool, eh, Phrase? Wouldn't you like to do gear changes yourself? Ah, where are grandmas and grandpas already? Good, Dad's gone inside. I wonder how gears work. Hey, come with me, Fraser. I bet there'll be something in Grandpa's garage that will show us exactly how gears operate. Let's move Grandma and Grandpa's bikes outside. Hey, they've got gears too. <laughs> Grandma said she'd never get up hills without them. I wonder how they help. Little gears and big gears. Hmm, time to make our own. OK, pop that over there, Fraser. Over here, let's get this work table outside. Now, gears. I wonder how we can make them. I know. Grandma's old cans will be perfect. What else do we need? Aha! Ta-da! Grandma's corrugated cardboard. The lumps and bumps will make perfect gear teeth. Pretty soon we'll be off and racing. Shakiba and I are the world's best beachcombers. We never know what's going to turn up on the beach. Things like... Wow! Look at this shell. I'll have a listen. Yup! The sound of the sea. It works every time. I wonder why. Maybe it's blood rushing through our heads. It should be louder when our hearts beat faster. I know. Shakib, run to the post and back. Fast as you can. Faster. Come on. His heart must be pounding. Sound louder? Nope. Oh, blood pumping doesn't cause a C sound. Maybe it's coming from outside the shell. So, if it's totally quiet outside, we shouldn't hear anything when we put the shell to our ears. I think I can solve this riddle once and for all. Come on! I love it when we solve a riddle here on the show. Let's see how Jade is getting on with her mechanical mystery. Fraser and I are about to become the world's greatest gear engineers. We've got cans of different sizes and Grandma's corrugated cardboard. Biggest can first. Mark where the cut, if you please, phrase. And roll it up. And again, please. Trim it to size. Next, we fit it nice and snuggly around the can. Dob that glue across the edges, please, Fraser. One down. And now we'll do the others. Roll them out. Mark them up. Cut to size. And stick them down. Voila! Four tin can gears raring to go. Now, I'll just mark a line. This will show us when the cans have done one complete turn. All right. Two biggest gears first. Good. Gear teeth fit into each other nicely. That's how they'll turn each other around. Off they go. Aha! Check that out. The smaller of the gears has finished its turn before the larger one. And see how the cans turn in the opposite direction to each other. This is very cool. I think we're starting to get to the bottom of this gear business. Hi, Olivia. Oh, what? A whoopee cushion? That's not fair. 
<laughs> I thought we'd finish with those silly jokes. Let's shake on it. Ew! Yuck! She slimes me. That's it. This is war. Come back here, you clown. <laughs> Olivia thinks she's so funny. How can I get her back for that slimy? Aha! Uh -huh. Nicole, you're a genius. I got Dad to cut me out two little plywood pieces. Like this. He put two small cuts in the side. Thanks, Dad. Now I'm going to attach them together with an elastic band. A short, strong one will work best. It goes around both bits. Now when I open the two pieces out, the elastic tries to pull them back together. If I release it from my hand, it jumps. Cool. It's like a creepy jumping bug. One more detail. I'm going to fill my snapping surprise with paper dots. These will fly out when it jumps. Hopefully this will give Olivia the surprise of her life. When Nicole stretches the elastic band back, she is storing energy. The effort it takes to bend the elastic back is held in until it's released. This is known as potential energy. Energy can't be created or destroyed. We merely transfer it from one state to another. In this case, it's being changed from potential energy into kinetic energy. OK, time to pay Olivia a surprise visit. Hey, check this out. Round and round the garden goes Olivia and Nicole. Huh, she wasn't expecting that. This round goes to me. I think Olivia may still have a trick or two up her sleeve. Damon sure knows a trick or two. He's come up with a way of turning leftover potato into a delicious dessert. Ugh. I'm really over this mashed potato. Hmm, how can I get straight to dessert? Peanut butter, yes! Clear the decks, Emily. We're about to make my world famous peanut potato surprise. First ingredient, two and a quarter cups of icing sugar. Now my leftover potato. Leaving the healthy green stuff behind, into the bowl. Now I'll get Emily to add the icing sugar. One spoon at a time while I mix it up with this whisk. Got to get all the lumps out. More icing sugar. Looking good. OK, wait here. Now onto this baking tray goes some plastic wrap. There. And spread the mixture out like so. Flatten it out. Now for a layer of yummy peanut butter. Mmm. Spread it out ends all over the potato layer. Now for the tricky bit. We roll both layers up into a jelly roll. Last of all, we cut the roll up into pieces and into the plastic container it goes. Now into the fridge. Any mixture of ingredients is made up of molecules that move around. When you cool or freeze a mixture, it becomes harder because the molecules slow down. The colder it is, the less they move and the more they'll stick to other molecules. My peanut potato surprise is ready for a taste test. Yep, hard as a rock. Mmm, peanuts, potato and the surprise it tastes so good. <laughs> Shakib and I are solving the mystery. How you hear the sound of the sea in a seashell. It's not caused by blood rushing through your head. We've already proved that. So maybe the sea sound comes from outside the shell. If we totally block out that noise, then the sea sound should disappear. Let's go. Great! It's siesta time, so this place is almost silent. 
We'll grab that thick blanket and throw it over our heads. It'll be even quieter inside. Now let's listen to the shell again. Any ocean sound? No, the shell is totally silent. So nothing inside it causes the ocean sound. It must come from outside the shell. The boy's clever experiment is spot on. A shell sounds like the ocean as outside noise travels through the shell material and bounces around all those twists and turns inside. The louder the noise outside, the stronger will be the sound of the ocean. Hey, I think that sound is the call of the sea. I think the shell is saying it wants to go back in the sea. In you go. Those guys looked like they were having so much fun. Science can be fun, Taryn, as you'll see in this next story. Fraser and I have been testing out what happens when different sized gears are joined together. We've seen that the small gear turns much faster than the bigger one. I wonder what happens if we put all four gears together. Fraser can do the smallest two, I'll do the largest. OK, let the gear teeth engage. One, two, three and turn. The largest gear is definitely going the slowest. But each time our gears drop in size, the faster they turn. The smallest gear goes fastest of all. So this is how gears work. Almost every machine uses gears in some way, mostly to gain a mechanical advantage. If the driving gear is larger, the smaller gear turns faster, but has less rotational force. If the smaller gear does the driving, the larger gear turns slower, but with greater force. Line up four gears in a row, and the smallest turns really fast. Time to go! Oh! Hey, at least these will let us change gears on the drive home. Those two are ready to hit the road. It's time for us to hit the road too, Taryn. We've come to the end of another show. See, See you next time. time.